Hello from Bryson City. The camera in here. Hope everybody is no. So we were going to do. We're staying inside. So we're actually switching gears. We are still drawing landscapes today. However, we are going to do something a bit different. Uh, instead of drawing a landscape observed from nature, we are actually going to copy uh, another artist's landscape, which is good practice. Copying other artwork is great to help build that hand-eye coordination. Uh, it's an important part of practice. Um, I probably have done thousands of copies. Um, so, I suggest just recommend doing copies you know if you see a piece of art that you like um try drawing it try and make a copy of it so uh betsy's here again today she's going to help me so yeah i'm in the corner you gotta, turn. You gotta come around this way oh, okay. <laughs> oh, how about now can i see you Meow. there she Hi, is guys. all right so we're gonna get let's get the camera switched around here so you'll see betsy all right and here is our picture that we are copying let me move this over real quick. Here's our picture we're copying. This is a landscape by a good friend of mine, TJ Holland. So we're going to draw from TJ's painting today. That's going to be our inspiration. So um, let me get things readjusted. Here we go. Let's see if I can. I'll do a little half split here. See if we can get that going. All right. So, start off with, you want to look at the orientation of the original piece. It is a vertical orientation versus a horizontal orientation. So, vertical. So, I'm we doing. want to make sure that we also are also oriented the same way. I'm this way, so that's why mine's like this. And then we want to kind of look at some of the um, elements that are going on here. So, you have this large tree that splits right here. And it looks like the edge of a bank or something. And foliage going down and then a couple other trees off in the distance here it's also lighter back here and this is in the shadow up front here so looking at that let's start off with this large tree so we'll start here and the tree is going to be right right here and it looks like this part of the tree comes up like that I have a more of a curve than TJ's does and then this, again, just sketching it in. I'm also today I'm using a um, a six B pencil um, for the drawing. My preferred choice pencil. There you go, as well as a couple others and some erasers. I'll slide over so you can have some more space. So, two trees. So, after you get the main element in, you kind of want to, so the edge of the bank is kind of behind this tree here. Like that. And the second tree is off over here and splits out this way. A little bitty, little bitty tree. And another one goes up like this and disappears behind this one. And then there's another larger cluster of trees. So let's pan up. So here's the little tree. And then this larger cluster of trees that we want to draw. Another edge uh, of whatever is going on back there, landscape wise. So, and it looks like he has a couple other trees one there, one here. I see right here. Well, I'm looking right here right now. There's that, there's that. I'm going to leave this up here for a minute so you can look at the painting too. We'll turn the light over here to give you a little bit more light on it there we go betsy and i are just going to draw away so 
So as you draw it, first you want to get the bar shakes in. And then I come back in with the edge. It's there. Some leaves here. Some leaves here. And I'll show you here in a second what I'm doing. Right now we're just leaving this up so you can so you can look at TJ's landscape painting here. This is what we're copying today. Since we can't go outside. Alright, so let's zoom down. Here's what I've got going on. So I've got the two main trunks of the trees. I've got the smaller tree here. And I've got these three trees here. I've added some leaves coming across here. And the leaves up here. Here's the edge of our bank. The second bank. And some trees. Betsy's got the two big trees. And cluster three off to the side. Now she's putting in the bank. And there we go. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on, there appears to be in this tree here, so we're going to start by putting that in on our drawing. So we'll carry all that all the way down. It's about this wide. So now we want to come back through and we want to sh you know, shad shade that in. So I'm just taking my pencil. I put shadow here. That's fine. Roughly drag it down through here. A little squiggly line as it goes all the way down. We'll leave it. We'll fill it, work on that later and fill it in better. <clears throat> Always build up the lines and stuff and so you're making a better defined edge over here. Just like that. And then there's some shadow between the two trees. You can work on that a little bit. And then the entire other side of this tree is in shadow. And this side of the tree is in shadow. So we're going to come through. Can we color it in? Yeah. You could. You could color this in. Since you're drawing in pencil, I'd Using draw, it. Yeah, if you're using drawing paper, the colored pencils will be the best. All right. So over here on this tree, also some some shadow. I'm gonna stay darker and darker as it goes through here. And same thing with these trees here. Fill that in like that. <clears throat> Let's see if I can. So as we look at this painting again a little bit more. We are going to um come across the street here, here on my drawing. Mine looks like a lot of scribbles. <laughs> I gotta take that foliage over. Again, I'm just sort of making little squiggles and filling it in that way. Not trying to be precise. Not going to draw each leaf. That'll take forever. So we're just going to fill it in. Just like this. Can I have an eraser? Sure. Thank you. Let me move the erasers over here for you. Build up the depth and the volume by just continuing to add more, darken it up. Same thing up here. Darken it up. Maybe even come through with just a little bit of like that. Make it appear a little darker and heavier right there. Same thing here. We'll fill that in. Looking back at TJ's painting. Shadowed here, so we're yeah. going to focus on this area as well. Okay. I'm going to start off just by 
filling that in like this to got my pencil kind of turned on its side. There you go. Betsy's working on it as well. Looking pretty good. You need some more shadow over in this area. Okay. There we go. Drawing. Michael Henson says, if you're drawing a river birch, how would you go about uh, drawing the bark since it ribbons off? Mm. Well, um, depends on how much detail for like this, where we're just sort of copying and sketching. To answer your question, I'm going to pretend this is a river birch. So, right here in the middle, um, you could draw a couple lines. I've seen birch trees. If you watch um, some of the best simplified trees, are usually in any films, especially in film. Um, if you look at the birch trees, it's usually just some lines, a couple lines that go across and then back and forth. If you wanted to get up close and really draw. Um, really draw that ribboning then you I mean literally you could draw it um, and have it where it's like peeling off the tree and those ribbons but it's very it's very linear for that birch tree zoom back out here let's look again at TJ's painting yeah, whenever you um, whenever you're copying another piece of art, it's good it's good not to uh, kind of get the flavor of it. You don't want to you don't want to try and do it exact. I mean, the first couple of times, <laughs> I say first couple of times, but it's always good to kind of get an idea of of what's going on in the in the in. The one of the things that many copies does that is actually really, really helpful is you learn new techniques because you, you have to figure out, like, well, how, how did they do this part? Well, as you're drawing or as you're painting that copy, you kind of look at that and go, oh, okay, I have to kind of do this to, to make this uh, make it work. There we go. Darken that up just a little bit more. Come back in and we'll put some of this little, little foliage and bushes and stuff down here. Fill that in. Same thing here. We'll It's kind of messy, very messy sort of uh, meadow kind of thing with maybe a little bit more than just some grass, maybe some other. So we'll we'll come back through and just some quick lines, make it look like there's stuff that's grown and over overgrown in the area here. Darken up this part of the tree real quick. Okay, just like that. Fill that in. Usually, like to have a couple pencil sharpeners. So, sharpen. So when they kind of start getting dull, I can grab another pencil, and now I've got a nice sharp edge. Now, the painting is very impressionistic. So, <clears throat> looking at it, some of these details that I'm kind of in, you know adding in are maybe a little bit more inferred. So, um, I'm I'm saying you know, this would when you kind of there's no other than comfort. Combine that way. And also, it looks like this tree creates a canopy back here behind this one. So on my drawing, I'm going to kind of do the same thing. We'll come back in and fill in and bring it across so it fills in between these two trees. A couple, a couple layers. 
doesn't cross over this cluster of three over here. So it must be immediately right back in there. So we'll do this. We'll add a... I remember this one from one of our heights, Dad. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you got going on there. Very nice. 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 Is, there, is there an owl that lives in there? Maybe. Maybe? I just remembered it. If it warms up just a little bit, I don't, I don't care if it's raining, but if it warms up, we might go back outside. All right, so fill in this part in. I'm using a little bit to help me to kind of get along in this. So here's what we've got so far. Here's our original. down here let's fill in it looks like there's some other shadows and stuff going on back here so we'll we'll kind of put those in a little darker and some other stuff in here okay. this one I'll keep. wow it cleans up and there's like another little tree that's sort of starting back here as it lightens up what are you doing <laughs> I'm skipping them a thumbs up oh that's okay So, I'm going to show you guys a quick little trick here. This is not if there's no rocks or anything in the painting, but I'll show you all. So I'm going to zoom in down here in the bottom. Um, and I know that, that TJ really likes um, all painting, Rembrandt, Delacroix. Um, I mean, you could go down to the Titian. Um, you know, you start getting into the early, you know, from that time period all the way up into the early uh, Impressionists, American Impressionists, Impressionists including... Um, uh, Thayer and uh, and doing, but anyway. So here's a little trick. Um, it works in drawing as well as in painting. So I'm going to put a rock here, and so here's a rock. There's my rock. There's my shadow. I should have asked this before in another video, but there's my rock. Just a couple lines, a couple squiggles, and then a little bit of grass that way, a little bit of grass that way. And suddenly, it appears like the rock's been there forever. So one more look at the painting here. This is, again, this is what we're copying. I, you know, if you have artwork in your house that you like, copy it. Make a copy of it. Draw it. Um, you'll learn something from it. It's very cool. But uh, too bad we couldn't go outside today, but it's all right. We have, we have other ways that we can learn and be creative so mm. all right well that'll be it for today again we're making copies of landscapes um tomorrow i i have a i don't know i have a weird idea i think we're going to Some, uh, uh, robots. We'll see how that works out. Maybe robots that we removed like from childhood. Robots that are in disguise. I don't know. We'll see. But I'd like to draw some robots tomorrow. I think that'll be fun. It'll be a, be an interesting lesson. Since we did uh, Kawaii yesterday and cute little characters, we'll draw robots. So, well, again, if you would like to share your drawing, please post it in the comments. If you have any questions or any uh, recommendations or suggestions, please also post those in the comments too. And otherwise, we will see you next time. Hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Take care.